In my last video, I talked about the oldest game that can run natively on a modern computer. The reception was quite positive, and many of you suggested a few ideas, such as using Shockwave or Linux. But there is one comment that really caught my attention. There is a Windoom from 1995 as well. Doom 2 for Windows, April 19, 1995. There is a 1994 beta, but it's very touchy. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit! Windoom was a tool that allowed you to play Doom on a Windows 3.8 system. But Windows 3.8 could only run 16 bit programs. Then the question is, how is this thing running on a modern installation of Windows 10? To answer this, we need a little bit of backstory. In 1992, the beta of Win32 was released. This was a compatibility layer that allowed you to run 32 bit programs on Windows 3.8. Also, before 1993, you had to choose between having Windows or a game installed on your computer. Chris Hecker sought to end this dilemma by developing WinG, a tool that allowed for easy porting of DOS games into Windows. And in 1994, Microsoft, in collaboration with its software, publicly announced the WinG API by porting Doom to Windows 3.x. There were two beta builds of WinDoom the 1994 version and the April 13, 1995 version. Unfortunately, the 94 version has issues working on modern computers, but the April 13, 95 version works with no issues on Windows 10, making this the oldest video game that you can run natively on a modern computer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the video. I hope you like it and I hope you're having a great week. When the beta build of Win32 launched in 1992, it came bundled with a 32-bit game that made use of the extra compatibility layer, FreeCell. And because it's 32 bits, you can download Win32 and play it straight out of the package, making this the oldest game that can run on modern computers without the help of emulators or virtual machines. Unless, of course, you guys find an even older game. But surely that won't happen, right? <laughs>